So the other morning, Halloween morning to be exact, it was a slightly chilly morning. Just enough chill that there was a slight cloudy layer of frost on my car. Not much. I didn't even need to scrape it off. Just a little bit of windshield wiper fluid did the job. And so I'm on my way taking Claire to work and we're running late so we decided to stop at Tim's. Unfortunately, I forgot that I drove a Chevy and a little bit of frost will without doubt break your window. And again, for the fourth time in the year, I go to roll up my window, it breaks. Of course it does. I bought a Chevy. So at this point, my window is stuck about an inch and a half down. And it just so happens that the following day was the first snowfall. So let me show you. I'm gonna show you guys how to solve all your Chevy problems. Check this out. Just don't, don't do it, don't get one. If you got one, get rid of it. Okay, that was an exaggeration. Just because Chevy sucks and they make terrible cars doesn't mean you can pick them up and throw them. That's dangerous, it's irresponsible, you shouldn't do that, you might hurt somebody. Don't do that. That was a lot of work for a stupid joke. Speaking of stupid jokes, let's talk about VFX. That's not a stupid joke. But let's talk about VFX. When I was a wee lad making masterpieces of VFX videos with my friends on a crappy little camera, I did not have money for an editing software. So how did I learn to edit? Well, I definitely didn't download anything illegally, and nor should you. You should definitely not do that, or you shouldn't abuse any sort of free trials. I mean, I guess that's probably okay. But anyways, this is three totally free VFX softwares that you can download right now on your computer and maybe one day you can open them and use them to make a VFX video. That'd be cool. Some things you're gonna need. Obviously, a computer. Doesn't need to be like the best computer in the world. Uh, when I started out, I used a very crappy Acer desk, no, Acer laptop, and then later another Acer computer, neither of which even had a graphics card. They both had internal graphics. Although learning was a very slow experience. Now I wouldn't recommend using a bad computer, but not everybody has access to a good gaming PC or editing computer. You just need something with a little bit of juice. Even like a 10 year old iMac could probably do you pretty good. The next thing you're gonna need is some footage to do some VFX on. Now if this video was sponsored, this would be a great opportunity for me to tell you about some stock video website, but unfortunately, it's not. Grab your cell phone and shoot yourself a video. Well, I guess you need an idea before you shoot the video. Get an idea, then take your cell phone, then shoot your video. All right, you get the point. You need a computer, you need some footage. Ain't nothing new around here. All right, number one, I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably familiar with DaVinci Resolve. If you're familiar with DaVinci Resolve, you might have seen the Fusion button at the bottom. The Fusion tab will give you all the tools you will need to create your VFX video right in DaVinci. And it's gonna be really handy if you wanna jump between the Edit tab and the Fusion tab, you can go back and forth. Now, one thing to mention here is that Fusion is not a timeline-based editor. So if you're familiar with After Effects or Premiere, those use timelines where Fusion uses nodes. If you don't know what node-based editing is, it's kind of like a flow chart. You'll have your source on on one end, your output on the other, and then you can put effects in the middle. Anything from keying to masking to tracking, all your effects will go in between your input and your output. It really allows you to choose the order of operation you want your image processing to happen. Node-based editors can be very powerful. That being said, if you're serious about getting into the VFX industry, learning a node-based software might be a good direction, as one of the industry-leading VFX compositing software is Nuke which is also a node-based editor. So it's probably worth your while to get familiar with nodes. Personally, I do prefer a timeline editor. That being said, Fusion is a fantastic option. Which brings us to our second option, which you may be familiar with. It is called Blender. Now, most people know about Blender because of how popular it is in the 3D world. You can do pretty much anything in 3D from sculpting to animating. And the best part is that it's free and open source. What a lot of people may not know is that you can also actually do quite a bit of VFX in Blender. If you're interested in doing a lot of 3D in your visual effects work, Work, Blender could be a great option because you can do your 3D animation as well as your compositing and VFX all in one software. And just like Fusion, Blender is a node-based editor and it also has a timeline video editor. And one of the great things about Blender is because it's free and open source, there's almost an infinite amount of resources online for you to learn. If this were a sponsored video, I'd probably tell you about some website where you could learn Blender but it isn't. So let me recommend some of my favorite Blender YouTubers. One of my favorites is CG Matter slash Default Cube. CG Matter was my first introduction into learning about visual effects you can do in Blender. I always thought it was just for 3D modeling and animation, but he's really entertaining and his videos are very fascinating. I also want to recommend Blender Guru. He really knows his stuff when it comes to Blender and his videos are always very well done. I also recently found out about Ian Hubert. He's hilarious, he's super talented, and his videos are definitely worth a watch. That being said, I actually don't have much experience in Blender, so 
so this month I am going to try and learn some more Blender. Okay, moving on to our third VFX software, HitFilm Express. Actually, the first time I heard about this software was actually in the comment section from one of you guys asking for tutorials. Unfortunately, I don't have a tutorial for you, but I did some research on HitFilm Express and it looks like a fantastic option if you are starting out and you want to get into VFX. It is a timeline editor, which in my opinion is much easier to jump into, especially as a beginner. It looks and feels the most like After Effects. You can do all your motion tracking, your masking, and your keyframing, and it has a ton of effects for you to use as well. HitFilm Express is also available on Mac and PC. Actually, I should mention all these softwares are available on Mac and PC. So there are three totally free VFX software that you can use for your VFX. You guys want to see how I threw that car in the intro? Get a clean plate, no car. Then have your friend Josh hold a green screen that only covers your hand. Do your best to grab where the car was and throw it. Now drive the car away. Sell the effect with an outro. That's it, that's all you need. Now for the editing. First, cue out your hand and mask out your arm as well as your thumb. You're gonna use your thumb as the foreground. Mask out the car and put it on the clean plate. Now animate the car to follow your hand. Add some shadows. And then head on over to your favorite sound effects website, Epidemic Sound, download a car crash sound, glass breaking, and a deep whoosh. Link in my description for a free 30-day trial. Every sign up helps support the channel. Put them all together, bada boom, bada bing, Bob's your uncle, the cat's out of the bag, you got yourself a good old VFX video. Oh, and before I forget, one more thing. So this right here is the Andy Cine C7. It is a 4K ultra bright monitor. And the reason why I wanted to give this a try is because the Red's seven inch monitor is not very bright, especially outside can be pretty difficult, but this ultra bright made it no problem trying to see outside. Now for my VFX video, I needed me and my friend Josh to both be seeing the camera at the same time. So putting on the second monitor was really handy. Unfortunately, my ND filter on the RP is making the screen look very, uh, green but but trust me it is not at all it actually looks dang that that looks good <laughs> it actually looks really good i think just the lighting coming through like look at this lighting that's so nice oh my gosh i'm so pretty so the first big feature that i liked is that you can zoom in really easily where on the red monitor it is a pain in the butt to zoom it probably takes you about four seconds to zoom in and another four seconds to zoom out it's pretty rough uh, you can turn on a grid safety markers, or by five, or literally any of these. You can enable these marker mats, which are similar to the markers, except they black out the, the edges. You can enable fa false colors, which is really handy if your camera doesn't have that, most like DSLRs wouldn't. Uh, and then you can enable LUTs. Uh, it looks like it has a one already built in, uh, but I'm not using that. Now, like I said, this is touchscreen, but there is settings up top. You can get your whole waveform, histogram, um, HSL. Super handy for like all DSLRs. There's also a wheel on top to control the brightness of the monitor. Get in the box, you get HDMI to mini HDMI, as well as HDMI to micro HDMI, and as well as the mount to hold it on a normal camera. But because there's no hot shoes on my red, I have this arm rigged up. It is HDMI in only, which is great for most DSLR cameras, uh, but if you have a cinema camera, you might be used to using SDI in. It looks like it uses uh, SF970 batteries, but I'm using the DTAP to 12 volts. Now my opinions on this monitor, honestly, I think it looks really good. Um, it's, it's handy, it's really bright. Uh, cat, but it's not the most sturdy monitor. The plastic doesn't feel very strong. If you dropped this, it will probably break. But other than that, it seems to get the job done. If you want more information, there's a link in my description. All right, YouTube, that is it for me, your boy, Editor Matt. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time.